Welcome to this video in which we are going to look at the rule of 45, which is a very useful rule when solving killer Sudoku puzzles. Now, the rule of 45 gets its name from the fact that the numbers from 1 to 9, which compose each region within a killer Sudoku, sum up to 45. And so the rule is particularly useful when you look at the 3 by 3 boxes in the grid. So if we look at this 3x3 three three box here, we can see we have the numbers 12, 8, 16 and 9. Well, 12 plus 8 is 20, plus 16 is 38, plus 9 is 45. And that's exactly what we expect because we know that 1 to 9 sum to 45 and we notice that all these dashed cages are fully contained within that 3x3 three three box. So to apply the rule, what we want to do is find 3x3 three three boxes where there are perhaps one or two squares sticking out um, of those dashed cages contained within that 3x3 three three box. So for instance, if we look down here, we have 14, 14, 16 and 6. But there's one square sticking out and we can use that information to work out some numbers. So let's see how that works. So we have 16 and 14 and 14 fully contained within the 3x3 three three box. 16 plus 14 is 30, plus the other 14 is 44. And that means, therefore, that this must be 1, because 45 minus 44 is 1. And this, therefore, is a 5. And again, that's because we know that these numbers must sum to 45. And we know where 44 of them go, and therefore that just leaves the one here. Now, sometimes there'll be perhaps two squares sticking out, and we can often still make progress here. So if we look at this bottom right-hand cage, um, containing 6, and this one with 23, this one with 12, this one with 5, and this one with 5, we'll see that in the 3x3 three three box, there are two squares sticking out this time but we can still make some useful progress by writing in pencil marks. So again, if we sum up the cages that are fully contained within the 3x3 three three box, we have a 6, a 23, and a 12, and those sum up to 41. So that means that these must sum up to 4, because 41 plus 4 is 45. So we know that they must contain the 1 and 3 in some order. And in fact, because we have the 1 here, we can actually write in 3 and 1. But if we didn't have that 1 there, then we could still pencil mark in 1 and 3s. And so that's how the rule of 45 works. We hope you found this video useful.